Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Your Right. Today I'm going to share with you how I do a whole smoked duck. Now I know it's getting close to the holidays, Christmas time, everybody's going to be doing turkeys or ham, but this is something different. You want to throw something different at your guests, man. Give one of these ducks a shot. Uh, I bought this one at my local grocery store. You don't have to go out and shoot them unless you're into that. That's fine too. So once you get your duck home from the store, it's just like a turkey or a whole chicken, something like that. You got to let it thaw out. You want it to slow thaw in the refrigerator, give it you know, a day or two to thaw out, put it in a bowl, catch any juice that drips out. It comes with the neck in it, the giblet pack. Usually a lot of times they'll have some kind of sauce pack in there. Just toss that stuff aside, you're not gonna need it. Then you wanna rinse that duck out and then pat it dry because with a duck, it's different kind of than a chicken or a turkey because it has a lot of more fat underneath the skin and that's what you know people have trouble with when they're cooking them because if you don't render that fat, it's going to make that meat taste greasy and it's not going to be good at all. And that's what turns some people off with duck. But I'm going to show you how I do it and it really gets the fat rendered down and makes the meat moist and juicy. And we're going to get that skin pretty crispy for having it on a smoker. That's the, that's the key to making a really good duck is getting that skin right. So I've got all that taken care of. I've thawed the duck, I've rinsed it, and I've patted it dry, and I let it hang out in the refrigerator for you know six, seven hours. And it doesn't hurt to go overnight just to let to let all the moisture get out of it as much as possible. Use paper towel in the cavity to absorb some of it. You want it dry when you get to the seasoning stage. Now, I've already started this, but with duck, you've got to poke the skin so as it's cooking, it's gonna let some of that fat render and seep out or the fat will tend to gel back up if it doesn't have a way to get out. Now, I'm just using the old corn cob poker and you don't wanna poke the meat, you just wanna go through the skin and into the fat. Just move, spread them out about an inch apart. Give that fat some place to go. And you just wanna do it in the legs. See, I've started most of it already. But just go through there and give the fat a escape. Now you also, since we're gonna be cooking it on its back, you gotta get the backside too. It's gonna to let that fat render down. It's gonna flavor the meat, but it's gonna have a way to get out of that skin. Now these holes aren't gonna make it tear because they're small enough to where they're just gonna you won't even notice them when it's cooked. And you'll see how I cut the wing tips off also and just tucked them back. It makes presentation nicer and gets them out of the way and helps those wings cook a little even. So we've got our holes poked and that's, and that's plenty for this duck. We're gonna get to the seasoning process. I'm keeping it real simple. This is just salt, a good kosher, uh, coarse grain salt and black pepper. That's all you need on the outside of this duck. So I'm gonna give it a good dose of salt it's gonna help, that's, give it some flavor, but it's gonna help that skin brown up some too. Make sure you get down in that cavity good with salt. I'll flip it on the back and get some as well. While we got it here, we're going pepper next. And I'm just using like a restaurant ground, coarse black pepper. I'm gonna get a little thicker on that back side. Get a little pepper down in the cavity. And just a little bit on top here. So we've got our salt and pepper on the bird. Now we're gonna stuff it and Orange flavor goes really good. I like it with duck. So I've got some of these little mandarin oranges. You can get them at each store this time of year and in a small onion that we've quartered up. Shove as many as you can inside that cavity to add some extra mass. It's gonna help this duck cook even. And hey, put whatever kind of herbs or fruit, citrus that you like. It goes great with duck. So we've got it full. I think that was one small onion and two little mandarin oranges quartered up held inside the cavity of that duck. Now, the last thing we want to do is I mixed up a glaze, a couple tablespoons of honey and a tablespoon of soy sauce. And this is going to go on the outside. And this is going to help that skin brown up, give it some flavor and crisp. And that's what we want. And I want this glaze right here to sit on the duck for a little while. It doesn't hurt to go overnight. Once you get to this stage, you can put it back in the refrigerator. Let the salt pull some more moisture out of that skin soy sauce is going to help with that too now today i'm going to go ahead and get it on the smoker but if you can let you know you let this sit a few hours it'll be great overnight it's even better so now i'm going to let this hang out if you have plenty of time give it overnight in the fridge uh, i'm going to go outside and get my smoker going and we're going to go ahead and get it on and show you how we cook this whole smoked duck stick around all right, for the smoked duck, any kind of smoker or grill will work. You just gotta get your temps up. Uh, we wanna be cooking at about 300 to 325 degrees because we really need to render that fat. 
And that's crucial. You know, you see me cooking turkeys or whole chickens a little bit hotter than normal when smoking. And it's to render that skin, that fat that's underneath it and to really make that skin bite through. Well, that really applies to whole duck. We've got a lot of, of fat underneath the surface of that skin. We've really got to render that down. So we're going to need that high temp. So I've got my Yoder fired up today and I'm using some Barbecuers Delight sugar maple pellets to really give it a mild taste for the duck and the sweetness of that uh, sugar maple. It's real light and it's gonna go real well with the, the flavor that we're trying to get on this duck. So now all we have to do is close the lid and then I'll stick a thermometer in it so I can monitor the internal temperatures. Like turkey or chicken, I'm looking for 165 in the breast, 175 in the dark meat. That's when I know it's gonna be done. And we are gonna put a glaze on it. I'm gonna show you a glaze here in a little bit that we're gonna put on the outside of it right when we get close to the finish. But let's get the lid closed. Let the joder do its job. All right, my thermometer just set, it says 156 right now. I had it set to, I had this dot set to alarm at 155. This is that thermal work, so instant read thermometer. So it, all it does is tell me the internal temperature. It's simple to use. But you can see, man, this duck is looking great. I'm gonna go ahead and bump the temp up to 165. That's what I wanted to hit in the breast. If I was temping it in the thigh, it'd be 175. You can see we're getting that brown look, that skin. You can tell it's getting crispy, man. It looks really, really good. That's exactly what I wanted it to look like. But for this last 10 degrees, I wanna get a final glaze on it. So it really crisps that skin up a little bit. And this is a, it's a mixture of honey and molasses about a tablespoon each and then two tablespoons of orange juice and some balsamic vinegar and then i put some uh, a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning that salt pepper and garlic in it and then some fresh of the same citrus fruit that mandarin orange i just zested a little bit mixed in this glaze we're just going to brush it over the top i know this is going to be the best tasting duck you've ever had it's real good and just pour the rest right over the top there. So we're just going to let the glaze sit on for about, um, it's probably going to take another 20 minutes if we need 10 more degrees. Right now total cook time is about an hour and a half for this size duck, but don't get caught up on your times, uh, especially when you're doing poultry. You want to cook to the internal temperature. Get you a good thermometer. Uh, you know, like this dot's pretty inexpensive, but it's accurate. I mean, Thermalworks makes it simple to use. But you know you'll be in the safe zone when you're using an internal thermometer and there's no guesswork. So don't worry about time. We're cooking the internal temp. Let's let this duck finish and we'll get it inside and rest it and show you what it looks like when we cut into it. All right, as you can hear, our dot thermometer here has hit 165 internal. I bumped it up a notch there. This duck looks great. You can see how when I take that thermometer out, the juice is starting to run clear there. That's what you want to see. Man, that glaze really makes the skin brown up. It gets crisp. You can see it's starting to bust a little bit at the legs. That's what you want to see. Now I want to get it off here real careful. We're going to take it inside just like anything and let it rest. That's a pretty duck. We're going to go inside and let it rest for about 15 minutes and then we'll cut into it and show you what this duck looks like. All right, the duck rested for about 15 minutes. It just sitting inside, covered it up with just a little bit of full. You don't have to worry about wrapping it tight, just let it hang out. The reason why we did this, just like anything, if I would have brought it in, cut into it, I lost all the juice, but there's minimal juice that's came out just from letting it sit here on the cutting board for 15 minutes. It's still plenty warm. You don't have to worry about losing temp on it. Just like anything, let it rest for a few minutes before you slice it. So just to recap what we did, we went to the store and bought a duck. It's not a wild duck. And I thawed it in the refrigerator for about a day and a half, slow. Then we rinsed it real well, patted the outside dry, then it's ready to season up. We seasoned it simple, salt and pepper. And then we brushed on a little bit of glaze that we made up with soy sauce and honey. That took us to cooking the duck for, it was about three hours total cook time, but always go by internal temp. You know, we're looking for 165. This is USDA recommended. I know you've seen people say you can eat duck a little bit more rare than that, but be on the safe side, I'm taking it to 165. I'm not taking my chances with it. Right before we hit up there, those last 10 degrees, we glazed it with a little bit of molasses and honey, orange juice, and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And that takes us to this finished product. It's beautiful, uh, golden brown duck. And the fat's been rendered in it, it's gonna be juicy. Let's go ahead and cut a little bit of this breast here. See what we're working with inside. You'll see duck meat is a little bit darker 
than uh, you're used to seeing with uh, turkey or even chicken. But that's what makes it good. It's real rich, it's real fatty. I wanna try some of this. You can just see the moisture in it. Wow, it's got so much moisture in it. It's rich, full of flavor. I'm getting a little citrus notes from that glaze that we put on it. Man, it's that's really tasty. I mean, it's, it's like eating a thigh meat um, off the chicken, but, but just a little bit bolder. It's really rich and good. If you want something totally different for Christmas, man, give a duck a try. You'll love it. Hey, if you like what we're doing here at How to Barbecue Right, subscribe to our channel. You know, we're going to be putting out these videos all year long. We have a lot of fun with it. Uh, like us on Facebook and Twitter. I appreciate all the comments and the feedback. Till next time. <laughs> you know, I did that bad. <laughs>